Okay, guys, so we've now spoken about the light. We're now going to speak about the metal. Because remember, we said we have two things here. We've got light and we've also got the metal. And we've only spoken about the light. So let's go talk about the metal. Right. Um, if you can't read, if you don't worry about this part here, that's just for me. Um, it's not for you guys. So I'll actually just ignore that. Okay. So <clears throat> we've spoken about the light. Let's talk about the metal. Right. So what we said earlier was that this piece of blue thing over here is a, is a metal. Okay. And these black dots, these are electrons. Okay. Electrons. Now, the whole goal, the goal of the photoelectric effect, what we're trying to do is we are going to try take this light and we are going to hit the light onto this metal. And if the light has enough energy in its photons, then what actually happens is that if we have enough energy, we will actually be able to take one of these electrons and release it from the metal. We will be able to release that electron. So the electron will actually get, uh, go off the metal. It'll, it'll, it'll be knocked off the metal, okay? In order to be able to take away the electron from the metal, we need enough energy. The reason is the following. If we think about a metal or any type of atom or anything like that, we know that in this metal, there are lots and lots and lots of protons. Now, those protons are exerting a certain amount of force on the electrons because opposites attract. Electrons are negative, protons are positive. So there's a little bit of an attraction force there. So this light has to have enough energy to be able to separate the electron from the proton, and then release the electron away from the metal. Now, each metal is different. Certain metals have different energy levels, different size atoms, the radius is different. And so each metal requires a different amount of energy in order to take away the electron. We call that energy that is needed the work function, the work function. And it has the symbol W0. Okay. Now what it is, it is the minimum energy minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the surface of the metal. And then please remember, each metal is different. Okay, now, Sometimes they are not going to talk about the, they're not going to talk about the minimum energy. Sometimes they're going to talk about, uh, sometimes they'll talk about the minimum. Um, so let's say here, each metal also has a minimum frequency. to remove an electron. This frequency is called the threshold frequency. And the symbol is F0. So sometimes in a test or an exam, they're going to talk about the work function and the work function, by the way, is a type of energy. So it's measured in um, it's measured in joules. Whereas the whereas sometimes they're going to talk about the minimum 
frequency, and that's measured in hertz. <clears throat> there is a formula that you can use if you want to switch between the work function and the threshold frequency. And that formula goes like this. Let me just get a different color. That formula goes like this. Okay, so this here, W0, once again, is the work function measured in joules. H, once again, is my friend Planck's constant. And then F0 is threshold frequency. This formula is very similar to the formula that we looked at when we were looking at the light. That one just went like this. That one went E equals to HF, but it was still energy and it was still frequency. That is exactly the same here. We've still got energy and we've still got frequency. The only difference is, is that the one is for the metal and the one is for the light. Okay. And so here's a summary of everything that we have just spoken about. So what we said was that we have something called the work function, which is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the metal surface. Then we said you also get something called a threshold frequency, which is the minimum frequency needed to remove an electron from a metal surface. And then we said that you can use this formula to switch between the work function and the threshold frequency. In some questions in the exam, you're going to have to use the threshold frequency, whereas in other questions, you might have to use the work function. Okay. The one is energy and the other one is frequency. <clears throat>